Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So in today's reading, we are going to take a look at channel messages from your person. So the person that you have in mind, we're going to see what are they feeling, what are their thoughts about you and what do they want to tell you, okay? So today is a pick a card reading and there's three piles that you can choose from. This is pile number one with the seven of cups card or the rose quartz crystal. All right, then this is card number two, pile number two with the eight of cups or the amethyst crystal. Okay, and here we have pile number three with the six of cups card and the green fluorite crystal. All right. So, my lovelies, as always, choose based on your intuition, either by the card or the crystal. It doesn't matter, you just pick the pile that you feel the most drawn to, that it just resonates the most with you. And after you're done choosing, you can skip ahead using the timestamps down below. But before we get started, please take a moment to hit like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings in the future. And also, if you want to follow me on my social media accounts, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, I'll leave all of them down below, as well as all the links for the cards that I'm using in this reading, okay? So without further ado, I'll see you on your readings. Hey, my beautiful pile one. So welcome to your reading to everyone who picked the Rose Quartz Crystal. Let's see what channel messages we have from the person on your mind. So my dears, you picked Seven of Cups. This card is indicating that your person has either lots of options, okay, they're trying to tell you that they have more options to choose from. It doesn't necessarily mean romantic options. It can be that there are options that require their focus, okay, in life, it requires their attention and it feels like they have a lot going on in their life and they keep thinking about all the possibilities and all the options and opportunities, okay? Or this card could also represent the fact that they are daydreaming about you, okay? This card represents also um, dreaming a lot and seeing the reality, you know, a bit different from what it is. So this can mean that they look at you and they see you in this completely dreamy version of yourself okay they see you through their own lens and this is because they have feelings for you and they feel like you are a complete magical <laughs> being whenever they see you it draws their attention they keep daydreaming about you and also I'm hearing the word precious, okay? There's all these cups, these golden cups, and in each of them there's like different jewelries or like crystals, okay? And this is representing that you kind of embody all these different um, versions of yourself and they can see all those versions and they love all of them. They they love that you are so versatile and flexible and you have so many uh, hobbies maybe and passions and maybe you have lots of projects um, and they love that about you, okay? It's like they, they admire you, they look up to you, okay? See how this person looks up and all these golden um, cups are just sitting above, shining, okay? This is how they see you. They kind of put you on a pedestal and they see you as this shiny, magical being. As I was saying before, like you are um, just irresistible and like you inspire them a lot okay cups are usually talking about feelings as well and emotions so this can represent that they do have feelings for you my dear palwan and they want to tell you that they admire you they look up to you and they see you like shining um that you have this amazing personality that you look amazing and you're always so put together and attractive and they feel like you've got everything figured out as well and this is why you inspire them and they look up to you, okay? And they feel like you are like this precious person that they are just daydreaming about you, okay? 
it feels a bit of a of a distance like they they cannot come so close to you maybe because they feel like they're not good enough okay this can be also an option because they see you as this shiny um golden precious crystal okay and they feel like okay maybe i'm not good enough i'm just like here and i can sit you know on a side and admire you all right but yeah let's see more information with your tarot cards and later on we're gonna see um your, your oracle cards so first you have the death card okay this represents transformation next we have ace of swords eight of pentacles the queen of pentacles and we also have page of swords okay so my dears as i was saying with the death card here i'm seeing a transformation so they are going through a big change in their life a big transition and also ace of swords represents a new beginning okay so they want to tell you that they are going through a big change in their life and something is that like, like their reality is shifting a lot you know seven of cups as i was saying earlier has something to do with seeing the reality you know through your own lens so this can also mean that they are moving towards a better version of themselves where they feel like they will meet you you know halfway and they will they will gain that confidence and that courage to come towards you and express their feelings for you okay we have ace of swords here and ace of um aces mean new beginning and swords are all about the mind and ideas and communication so i feel like they found a way in order to communicate to you uh to talk to you about their feelings about their ideas about the way they view you okay and we also have another card of swords which is the page of swords and pages usually come with a message okay and swords as i said are all about ideas and the mind and being creative okay this also speaks about creativity and um, having brilliant ideas overall and being curious being eager to know so they want to tell you my dear Palwan, that they are eager to get to know you they want to know all of you they they want to know who you truly are and not only see you from afar and even though they see you super beautiful like in and out and all shining they want to know every bit of you because they're just curious but not that curiosity of like just wanting to know because they have a a bigger interest in you know behind behind that curiosity which is their feelings for you they want to be able to understand where you come from who you are what your likes your dislikes they they want to know it all they want to be very close to you as a person all right and they are thinking about coming forward and expressing all of that communicating all of that talking to you about all of that and they know that this is going to create this transformation or they already are going through that transformation by building up that confidence i'm seeing here yeah with the eight of pentacles someone building so they might be building up that confidence okay but this card can also indicate that they have this willpower and determination to to work on this connection to work on themselves and become a better person grow as a person and also grow in this connection they really want to have a committed relationship with you my dear pal one this is what they want to tell you queen of pentacles and eight of pentacles represent you know wanting something stable they want a stable committed relationship they really want to uh, be that person that is you know very supportive that can provide to you that support yeah like emotional financial uh support any type of yeah like any type of support that they are able to offer you they are willing to do it um 
they are willing to give 100% in this connection and they want to completely you know be faithful to you and commit to you and just work on this connection in order to make it work find solutions again i see the mind and coming with solutions and working being able and willing to work on to this connection you know it doesn't matter what will come your way they are ready to just focus on making it work okay because you mean a lot to them this is what i'm saying the queen of pentacles also suggests um you know their generosity towards you they want to tell you that they feel like they could give everything they have for you and i'm not speaking only material things i'm speaking like also emotionally they are willing to give their all they give uh, their 100 percent to you okay so yeah overall this is what i'm seeing in your tarot cards now let's see what your oracle cards are and we have fork in the road all right so with this card this person might feel like they have like those options that i was talking before they might have different options but they choose you they choose to focus on you and they choose to come towards you and tell you how they feel and work on this connection okay so this big transformation that they're going through it might require them to you know really go beyond themselves and go to to such extent that it's kind of like a completely different world that they're choosing okay they're choosing the road that's that is going to completely change their life but this is their decision and this is what they want okay next we have co-create this card speaks about working in a team and being able to making make it work together okay co-create i love how we have creativity in this card and we also have the eight of pentacles who which is all about putting in that work and creating something but they want to create this connection to build this connection on a strong foundation yeah they want something stable they want something for the long term they're willing to give 100 percent, and they hope that by communicating these things to you together you will be able to co-create this connection to build this relationship together okay next we have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment so this person wants to tell you Paiwan, that they have something to forgive from the past and that they've done the learning part okay that they are coming you know to a place where they feel like they will be a better person they're going through this change through this big transformation and they're going to release and heal everything in the past and they're going to take that road that it's about forgiving and learning and moving on next we have release your ex the time has come to clear your energy wow okay so this message could be that this person wants to tell you that they've released their ex you know maybe they've broke up a while back okay maybe it's been a long time but maybe the some feelings were still lingering in themselves maybe this is what those options i was seeing in the beginning are about um having more options when it comes to like their feelings like their feelings being spread up spread out in more than one just one option okay but they realize that it's just energy that's no longer serving them that's keep lingering in there and that there's no point in doing that and they need to change they need to take on uh, yeah that road that's going to be about moving on about healing about releasing and clearing that old energy okay so the death card as i was saying is all about shifting from you know a different chapter to a new one and completely like changing your life so this can mean that they're gonna completely clear those energies they want to tell you that they want to live in the past you know their ex or old energies that no longer serving them and they are they've done the forgiving and the learning bit and they just want to experience love yeah in the present moment 
you know, at its truly uh, power, you know, in its most beautiful shape. Okay, they want to completely just experience this love that they share for you, that they carry for you, okay, without having anything in the past, uh, any wounds that continue to linger in their heart because they realize that it's not going to be healthy either for them or for you in the long term. They want to change. They want to start a new chapter with you. And they want to tell you that, that they've released their past and they are ready to move on into the future with fresh energy. Next, we have the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Wow, pal one. What a strong message in here. They definitely left this person like completely. Even their feelings are already shifted and healed okay um they want to tell you pile one that this relationship is completely over there are no second chances i've grown and i want to transform my life it's so crazy to me how we have transform here like the word transform and the death card which both speaks about the same thing next we have lighting lightning sorry sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany upheaval transformation so yeah they felt like they need to create a sudden change um this will come as a surprise for you maybe this is what they want to tell you that maybe this is, will be like shocking news but i love how we have here transformation again the word again wow the message is super, super strong. They want to tell you that they're going through this transformation. This is a big moment in their life. They're leaving behind something that was, um, you know, maybe really meaningful, maybe taught them a lot along the way. It may, it helped them grow a lot as a person. Maybe they've learned so much from it and they want to tell you that they want to experience this love fully and truly and they want to completely commit to you there are not second chances for the past relationship. There's there's absolutely no way. There's no turning back. Okay. They only want to just, you know, create this connection together. Co-create. Yeah. Work on this together. And they want to let you know about it. Now, let's see some other channel messages from your person. And we have, I wish I could share my good news with you. So, the good news is that they've released their ex, they've released their old energies, they've done the healing part and they feel ready to just start this connection from a fresh start, okay, from a fresh ground and build that foundation strong from the beginning, okay, they want to have a healthy relationship with you, they want to, both of you to feel happy and fulfilled in this connection, they want to give you there all as i said there's that generosity energy um queen of pentacles is usually about just giving your all to that person that you love and wanting to support them no matter what next we have i love you such a simple and beautiful message so they want to tell you pawan that they love you and also, they want to tell you, I wish things could be different. They wish things to be different in the means that they want to be together with you and have a committed relationship where both of you are involved and work on it and happy and fulfilled, okay? They don't want things to just be in this current reality where you two are not together, where they just keep daydreaming about you and about a possible relationship with you they want to have the reality where they don't admire you from afar but you two are actually in a relationship well this is all i have for you my dear pal one i really hope you enjoyed your reading if you did please hit like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings in the future also feel free to leave me a comment down below if this reading resonated it would mean a lot to me Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Hey, my dear pal too. So welcome to your reading to everyone who picked the Amethyst Crystal. Let's see what does the person on your mind want to tell you. So my dear, you chose the Eight of Cups card. 
this is telling me that your person feels like they need to let go of something in order to move on to better things okay they want to tell you that there's something that they need to let go of that's no longer serving them it's no longer making them happy and they need to move you know move on onto something better like change their future change their reality move into a new chapter okay but let's get more information about this situation with your tarot cards and later on with your oracle cards so first we have five of wands okay next we have the hanged man we also have justice we have the lover's card okay and we also have the star all right so my dears your person wants to tell you that there is a situation that it's really draining them it's creating a lot of conflict into their life and there's maybe other people you know trying to tell them how to feel what to do what choices to make maybe it's your connection that it it has lots of conflict in it it's been all about arguing lately and you really cannot find a common ground or maybe there's like other people in their life that they they fight with a lot and there's a lot of miscommunication but they feel like they are very tired and exhausted and they're in this fight or uh, fight or flight mode where there's lots of um lots of anger lots of stress and adrenaline and also lots of conflict okay and they feel like it needs to stop they want to put a stop to all of this and they want to take a moment they want to take a break from all of this a pause and just shift the way they think about uh this particular situation like think outside of the box they want to find a new perspective to view things from a different perspective okay they they want to tell you that this situation needs to stop and that they need a break okay they need to take a step back and and just look at this situation from a different point of view okay um this is very interesting i see that they are looking for justice they feel like this whole um, conflict is just creating, you know, a situation where they have a lot to lose or they've gave up way too much of themselves and they feel like they deserve better and they need better. They need to change something and it feels like they are in, in look for their own justice and they want to cut off this toxic um you know people relationship this toxic situation that's going on they want to cut it off and um, create like strict boundaries with the justice card here with the sword okay this signifies they want to find their inner balance they want to find you know justice for themselves to make justice for themselves to they're trying to build onto that self-respect and self-love and find that inner power to cut through things that are no longer serving them okay cut through those toxic um situations that are dragging them down because with this eight of cups i'm sensing a lot of sadness in their heart like the thing or the situation that they need to leave behind is taking them a lot of effort it's costing them a lot of pain they feel hurt it's not like they want to do it but they have to they want to move on to better things things that are going to serve them things that are going to be healthier and it's going to be make them happier okay they they try to take a step back and look at the situation and realize that it's really not good, doing them any good and they need to build that those boundaries and that self-respect and that confidence to be able to 
to put those boundaries, okay, and and make people respect them because they respect themselves. But if they don't respect themselves, that is going to be hard to put those boundaries for other people, and nobody's gonna respect them. And they feel like by doing this, it's just going to make their themselves justice. Doing justice actually signifies for them taking what it is that they deserve, okay, and living. The rest, which is basically creating only toxicity and in, in draining them of energy, and I see their desire and their need to to heal. Okay, they need to take time to heal. Here with the star, this signifies healing, rejuvenating, um, recharging. Okay, tapping into that emotional side of yourself. Yeah, see here with the water, tapping in that intuition and trying to heal that inner self. They're trying to focus on healing their emotions, their feelings. They feel hurt, as I said. There is a very low energy about your person. This is what they want to tell you, pile two, that they feel sad, they feel hurt, they feel drained of energy, exhausted, and this situation can no longer keep happening because there is not making them happy, and they want to find their own happiness. They want to fight for their own happiness. Yeah, they, they maybe already took this moment to look at things from a different perspective and they just want to tell you, pal, to that this is their new perspective. This is how they view things now. And I see that they are still looking for uh, finding that true love. So this message will resonate in different ways for, you know, for all of you because this is a general reading. But for some of you, it might be your situation, your relationship that has lots of conflict in it. And this person decides to actually leave this connection because they no longer feel like they belong there and it's no longer serving them. And they look at this situation through a different lens and realize that there's actually potential to this connection. There is actually soulmate connection between the two of you. That you two share a love that's completely special and meaningful and the passion is still there. The attraction is still there. But it's just the fact that it is this constant state of um, fighting and arguing and not, not understanding each other or always bickering. And it's just creating this toxic environment that is draining them. And they, they need healing. They need some time apart from you to just put their thoughts you know in in order and try to understand how they truly feel tap into that inner you know self and heal those feelings heal those harsh words those arguments those wounds yet created by arguments um and come up with a fresh new perspective when it comes to this relationship and maybe create some like put in some new boundaries that are going to make them feel like they they actually respect themselves and they can make themselves respected by you or others okay and cut not necessarily you out of uh, their life but cut certain um habits out of this connection in order to to make this connection a healthier one they want healing, they want rejuvenation, but not only for themselves, but for this relationship, because I see that they still have attraction, they still have feelings for you. There is a strong chemistry and a strong bond between you two. Maybe you've been together for a very long time and they don't want to give everything up, they, but they need some time apart, okay, like a break. Maybe they want to take a break. This is what they want to tell you. But for others, this message can be about them needing to leave a completely different situation that has nothing to do with you okay and that that situation is toxic and yeah they need to remove it and they want to do that and they're seeing things from a different perspective uh, and they need healing okay but they do still look for love they still look out for love out there they still believe in love they still believe in soulmate connection and they found that soulmate connection with you they the chemistry is really strong between you two and they first need to leave this certain situation in order to move on and be with you and focus on this connection so take this however resonates all right 
let's see now what your oracle cards are and we have message in a bottle so this card speaks about wanting to you know reach out this person wants to reach out to you and tell you this new perspective that they've came to uh, maybe expect a call or a text message or an email okay from this person uh, but soon they will reach out to you and they will uh, deliver this message next we have soulmates wow so there's two cards that is one is the tarot and one is the oracle and they both signify the same message which is the soulmate connection this is such a strong message that this person truly feels like your connection is very different and special and meaningful um my dear pal too they feel like you two share a soulmate connection it's like a bond that's unbreakable and there's lots of feelings that they carry for you there is a deep love a deep true love that they carry for you all right next we have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together wow so here again we have this picture that represents someone sailing you know towards something better it can represent like leaving something behind and sailing towards something better so it's either them leaving something behind and wanting to leave all of that toxicity in the past and enjoy your love and your beautiful connection okay this soulmate connection with you after they've done the healing or this could represent that they want to leave all the negativity that was part of this connection behind between you two and just shift completely the way they view things and come in with a different set of rules and boundaries and just kind of make it make justice maybe for both of you and make this connection healthier yeah rejuvenate both of you and come in with a healthier perception perspective and perception about this connection and try to make this connection be something that both of you enjoy next we have true love this is the romance of a lifetime wow another card that represents how meaningful this love is for them they they carry for you true love okay my dear pal too this is clear message they want to tell you that they truly love you that there is no doubt that they love you this is their romance of their lifetime you two share the uh, the soulmate connection but it is you know something that is creating a lot of toxicity there's too many arguments there's too much happening or maybe there's other people trying to break into this connection and it's kind of influencing um you know someone in this connection next we have clock need time takes time in time cycles time to heal progress wow very strong message again they need time this is what they're uh, trying to tell you pal too that they need time and here with the hangman it is about time and the star as well like time to heal it takes time to heal so bear with me it's about progress they want to create this progress into this connection from something that is you know creating all this drainage in the energy into something that's going to be fulfilling for both of you because they know there is potential they know the the chemistry is is something completely different that they've ever felt before so they don't want to just give up okay next we have sunglasses watching looking stalking gaslighting perception focusing out wow i love how we have here perception and the hangman speaks about finding a new percep uh, perception a new perspective okay um so this person even though they might take a step back and they might need time to heal and be alone they are still gonna watch they are still gonna be looking at you stalking we have here stalking so this person will still um or is still watching you on social media is still spying you is still trying to be in touch with what you're doing what you're up to because they still carry these strong feelings for you and they still want to know what what you are doing how you're doing but they still want to be in this uh break 
Okay, let's see some other channel messages from your person. And we have just being near you is intoxicating. This person finds being you intoxicating. They find you irresistible. As I was saying, the, uh, the chem chemistry and the attraction for you, the, they still have so much passion for you, is really strong. Next we have, I'm so attracted to you. Wow. Just just taking the words out of my mouth. Yeah, I'm, they, they are so attracted to you. This is what they want to tell you. Like, I'm still attracted to you. Next we have, it was my fault, but I blamed you. Ooh, okay. So this person feels like whatever it was happening here, they they had, you know, some blame as well or it feels like they they were it was entirely their fault okay and they feel like they've blamed you maybe but by taking this time to find that different perspective they've realized that it was actually their fault they feel like they've done some wrong to you as well by blaming you and you know it really really was helpful for them to take this time and like look inwards this card is about doing the introspection so yeah they they've managed to to heal and and find that different perspective that they were looking for and this is kind of the the you know conclusion that they came to they want to tell you my dear pal too that they still have love for you and they want to make it work no matter what okay so this is all i have for you i really hope you enjoyed your reading if you did please hit like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings in the future also feel free to leave me a comment down below if this reading resonated it would mean a lot to me thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one until then take care bye bye hey my dear pal three so welcome to your reading to everyone who picked the green fluoride crystal so let's see what does the person on your mind wants to tell you you chose the six of cups my dears so your person is trying to tell you that they want to express their love for you six of cups is a card about confession okay doing um a confession of love being romantic doing a romantic gesture maybe even proposing for some of you it might resonate okay maybe asking to move in together so this is a card about love this is a card about feeling happy and joyful okay see how all these butterflies this can also symbolize um the butterflies in the stomach when it's like the first stages of love you know um when you're just falling in love with someone and is that process of getting to know them and flirting okay the flirt this can also represent that that this if this person is someone you just barely know okay a new colleague at work a new you know classmate a new person in your life overall this it, it signifies that they want to tell you that they fell in love with you okay they fell in love with you they feel the butterflies every time they see you they want to be with you all the time and they they have they might have like that flirty energy about them okay but if this person is someone that you uh, you've been together for a long time this can also represent proposing that they want to tell you you know that they want to move in together maybe with you but uh, again this can represent attraction um yeah the butterflies can represent attraction that passion that chemistry okay overall this card is a card of love and having that young spirit type of love like being very flirty doing romantic gestures um that or being very affectionate okay that is just gonna show you how they truly feel for you okay now let's take a look at your tarot cards and later on we're gonna see your oracle cards so we have king of swords okay such a different energies <laughs> yeah from the first card then we have three of wands We have the Fool. We have, wow, we have Six of Cups again. This is incredible, Pal 3. There's two cards of Six of Cups. 
wow this is beautiful such a strong message here about them falling in love with you or having feelings for you being romantic like willing to be romantic willing to just shower you with love and in just romantic gestures or affection okay they want to show your their affection to you my dear pal three and last but not least we have eight of swords okay so my dears what i'm seeing for you is that this person has a lot of plans for the future they look far ahead in the future they see you in those plans they include you in those plans you know they might be dreaming a lot about a potential future with you but there is something that keeps them stuck in the you know from from doing this from pursuing those dreams they there is a particular situation that it it makes them feel stuck and they cannot see a solution out yet but they want to tell you that they are looking for that solution and usually swords are about solutions about mind about having a clear mind okay um about communication as well ideas being creative so this person wants to tell you that they are thinking about a solution and this solution will come in as a very rational one king of swords usually speaks about being rational being you know seeing the practical aspects of a certain situation so they want to tell you that they are looking at the practical side of things or they are coming with a practical solution to this particular situation and that they are ready to cut those ties wow i i just had this image in my head that with this king of swords yeah, they will become this king of swords and with that sword they are going to cut these ties and the blindfold that makes them feel so stuck and without seeing any solution and all these swords you know that for now it feels like it's a fence and it's not allowing them to move on and pursue their dreams they will find a way to get one of those swords and free themselves and yeah i just had this picture in my head okay that they will find a way out and they know they can do it and they're trying to uh, thinking about this practical solution they they want to tell you that don't worry i will come with a practical solution to this uh, situation they're trying to like be more rational and make decisions based on their rational mind rather than on their feelings um maybe because they if if it were for them to um take more in consideration their emotional side which is their more natural way of being okay but they are gonna if they're gonna do that that means that they might be scared of hurting other people or hurting someone or they might not be able to um pursue their dreams and find their own happiness because they don't want to hurt others or uh, disappoint others or just you know I i'm hearing also the word that this person might be like a bit of a ple people pleaser like an empath okay if if not a people pleaser maybe that sounds uh you know bad but i want to say like this person has lots of empathy for other people so maybe they if if it were for them to be too emo emotional okay and and make decisions based on their feelings they won't have that courage to pursue their dream and jump off that cliff okay yeah the fool speaks about new beginnings new chapter but doing it without looking back without having any ties like completely free and just jumping on um, not thinking about what's next not thinking about the consequences okay so they are trying to come up with a practical solution to this situation but they kind of realize that they need a bit of craziness they need a bit of that full craziness carefree energy in order to pursue their dream to be with you and not let this situation hold them um yeah hold them in place anymore and also they know that they need to be a bit rational and not think so much about other people's feelings or you know like it doesn't mean that they want to hurt other people intentionally it is just it comes from that um energy of i don't want to like hold myself back from what i really want to do 
just because you know i'm gonna please other people because that's not gonna be healthy in the long term and this is a rational thought that it came up with that this is not good this is not healthy this is not sustainable for the long term for neither of the people involved so they realized that they need to uh, take this matter in their own hands and really cut through those people or like that situation that is holding them in place and realize that they need to free themselves the fool speaks about being free okay so they want to free themselves this is what they want to tell you and they want to tell you that they keep looking in the future and they keep making plans for the two of you and they keep daydreaming about you all right let's see what your oracle cards are and first we have happy happy so this person wants to tell you that you make them really happy and it's no doubt because i see here with the two six of cups the energy in these cards are about being happy about feeling joyful feeling that joyful energy that someone you know only someone you love you truly love makes you feel um it's like that type of happiness that is like a lot of enthusiasm as well lots of passion um like exuberating that happiness and that positive energy okay so every time they are around you they feel they are happiest this is what they want to tell you next we have blessed so also they want to tell you that they feel blessed for the fact that you came into their life that you are their blessing and maybe you gave them wings I'm, I'm just hearing the words wings and i'm seeing here this person has wings so it's like you gave them wings to fly and jump off that cliff and free themselves from a situation that it, it wasn't making them happy it, it was just held, holding them um stuck next we have love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so as i was saying pile three this situation is about loving themselves putting themselves first it's not about hurting other people feelings like on purpose but it's about respecting themselves and they feel like that is gonna make them even more romantically attractive to you okay next we have you deserve love you are lovable wow 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 triple wow pal three they are telling maybe these affirmations to themselves like you deserve love you are lovable so this is like a double message i feel like one of them is you know um indicating that they're trying to build that self-love and realize that you know what you are lovable you deserve love go after what it is that you want and after what makes you happy and the other message is that they feel like you deserve all the love in the world you are such a blessing to their life and you make them so happy and they are this such an amazing person and that you are completely lovable like you're so lovable they cannot keep their hands maybe off you or they feel like um they cannot keep themselves like away from you they keep thinking about you daydreaming about you okay and as i said the chemistry is really strong in there next we have soulmates soul connection partnership agreement soul contract wow so pile three this person feels like there's a soulmate connection between you two and they want to tell you that this Com uh, this connection it feels like a soul contract it feels like an agreement between your souls it feels really strong to them next we have hammer sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent working on it okay so the message i'm getting from this card is that if they keep doing this and keep staying in this eight of swords energy it's like sabotaging themselves sabotaging their happiness and they're rebuilding they're rebuilding that confidence that you know the confidence that king of swords has a king of swords is a very power has a very powerful personality a very strong uh confident person that has clear boundaries uh, they are not allowing people to step you know on themselves they they ask for what they deserve and they cut people or situation that are no longer serving them so they're rebuilding that self-confidence that self-love and that self-respect okay 
they are working on it. This is what they're trying to tell you, that I'm working on it. I'm working on to that solution. And now let's see some other channel messages from your person. And we have, I wish I could take back my words. So there is something that they wish they didn't tell you. Okay. Something that they regret telling you. Next we have, I regret lying to you. Okay. So this person really regrets something. They, they felt like they lied to you on a certain situation. You know, maybe it is like trying to protect you from this situation. Maybe trying to uh, not get you involved in this situation. But they realize that they actually don't want to live a life without you. And there is no point in lying themselves. And maybe they regret lying to you in the first place. Even though it was maybe not with bad intention, but they wish maybe to have had this courage and this carefree energy to jump, jump off that cliff maybe in the first place. Maybe this affirmation is towards themselves, like they regret lying to themselves as well, like lying to themselves that they're happy in a situation where they're not trying to please other people. And last but not least, we have, I can't stop thinking about you. Yes, pile three, I've seen that in the, in your cards earlier. This person cannot stop thinking about you. They keep dreaming about you in the future with you. They have feelings for you and they want to come forward and express their feelings. We have six of cups twice represented in your reading. So that's a very strong message. This is all I have for you, my dear pal 3. I really hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please hit like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings in the future. Also, feel free to leave me a comment down below if this reading resonated. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.